For today's lesson, we are looking at some multiple choice question from AP Calculus AB 2016. This is not so well done question. Now let's continue on question 27. This is about implicit differentiation. E x y minus y square equals to E minus 4. We took the derivative of each term respect to x. So for E, we get E x y. Then x y is x dy dx plus y minus 2y dy dx and for the right hand side e minus 4 is a constant after you take the derivative it should be equal to 0 now our focus it is to get dy dx at this particular point then we can just substitute the value of x and y right now x equals to half y equals to 2 and xy will equal to 1 x is equal to half and dy dx y is equal to 2 y equals 2 this is 4 dy dx multiply each of the term by a 2 so this will be e dy dx plus 4 e minus 8 dy dx so dy dx e minus 8 equals to negative 4 e and therefore dy dx is equals to negative 4 e over e minus 8 or it is equals to 4 e over 8 minus e that is a C. Next, question 79. This is a GC question. The number of people who've entered a museum on a certain day is modeled by this function ft, where t is measured in hours. And the number of people who left the museum since it opened at the same day is modeled by g. Let this number equal to h. h is equal to f minus g. Because the number of people in the museum is the number of people who enter minus the number of people who left. So the HDT is F prime T minus G prime T. And this is equal to 3801.02 T minus 240 plus 240 sine pi T minus 4 over 12. And don't forget that T is in between. 1 and 11 and we are asked to find what is the maximum of h So using the GC, you are able to graph this function. And remember when you key in this function, write everything in X, not in T. And you also need to check that the mood of this should be in radian, not in degree. So back to this again, according to what we have just now, the answer should be equals to a B. Next, question 81. A slope field of differential equation is shown in the figure above. If y equals to fx is a particular solution to the differential equation through negative 1, 2. Uh, negative 1, 2, this is the point. hx is equals to 3x fx. What is h prime negative 1? hx is equals to 3x fx. h prime x will be equals to 3x f prime x plus 3 of fx using the product rule h prime negative 1 is therefore equals to 3 negative 1 f prime negative 1 plus 3 f of negative 1 so this is negative 3 f prime negative 1 meaning that the gradient at this point negative 1 and you can check it is equals to negative 2 this is 3 f of negative 1 is equals to 2 so the answer is equals to chalk e next the function f is defined on the open interval and the first derivative is given by this. Which of the following statement is true? So we will focus on the interval 0 0.4 to 2.4. And we need to draw the graph again. So we want to insert the graph, sine, 
x square so again we need to select the window from 0 0.4 to 2.4 so it's pretty small negative 1 2 1 okay so this is graph it look like we want to know where is the zero the zero is 1.77 so the graph is always positive then to zero to negative f x equals 1.77 so the graph shown just now is 0 0.4 2.4 about like this and this is like 1.7 the f prime change from positive to negative then it should have a maximum on this interval that is correct there's no change of f prime from negative to positive the option 2 is not correct and the graph have two point of infection let's look at the graph again we get point of infection when the graph of f prime change from increasing to decreasing that's somewhere here and the other one is decreasing to increasing some point here so you have two point infection corresponding to the graph y equals fx and therefore this is also correct one and three are correct the answer should be equal to d next the graph of function f which have the domain from 0 to 7 is shown in the figure above the graph consists of a quarter circle of radius 3 and the segment segment means a straight line with the slope negative 1 let b be the positive number such that this happened what is the value of b from 0 to 3 fx dx that is equal to pi r square over 4 that is 9 pi over 4 here is 9 pi over 4 and let's say somewhere here you have also 9 pi over 4 this is equal to b and therefore this is me b minus 3 and because the slope is negative 1, so this b minus 3, the length here also b minus 3. Uh, the area of this triangle is half b minus 3 squared, and it must be equal to 9 pi over 4, so that this integral equals to 0. And therefore, b minus 3 squared equals to 9 pi over 2. b is equal to 3 plus 3 square root pi over 2. Using your GC, it's not difficult to find out that this value is about 6.760 the answer is equal to d again this is about the product rules so hx is equal to f and g h prime x is equal to f x g prime plus f prime g h prime 6 is therefore equal to f of 6 g prime 6 plus f prime 6 and g 6 f of 6 okay one two three four five six so we are looking at here f of six is equals to two and g of six is equals to a four g prime six is equals to negative half and f prime six is equals to a negative two so the answer is negative one minus eight that is negative nine and the answer is eight next in the xy plane the graph of twice differentiable is concave upwards on this open interval 0 2 the tangent line is this which of following must be true about the derivative of f it concave upward it may be something like this or something like this but we already know that at this particular point x equals 1 x equals 1 the tangent is positive 3x is positive 3 so the tangent line must be something like this concave upward meaning that f double prime positive f double prime positive meaning that f prime is increasing f prime is increasing in this particular point f prime is equal to 3 therefore everything before that f prime less than or equal to 3 x is less than or equals 1 f prime must be greater or equal to 3 if x is greater than or equals 1 so with this we know that a is the correct answer some of you ask me why d is not the correct answer f prime is always positive this may not be always true because we can have some graph looking something like this the f prime is negative within the region that is that could be possible also so with this this end of the discussion of the mcq question that not very well done bye bye <laughs>